What's up guys, thanks for stopping by, I hope you're doing good. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the brand new armor set and new mob that was added to Valheim. Let's jump into it. Okay, so here it is, this is the root armor set. First of all, I just want to say, I think this armor looks absolutely amazing. It does require a new mat that's called root, which we will get into a little bit later on and I'll show you how you get it. But first of all, let's go through the recipes and stats for this armor set. So first up, we've got the root mask. And to craft this, you're going to need a workbench level two and 10 root, 10 ancient bark and four leather scraps to make the root harness, which is the chest piece of this set. You're also going to need a level two workbench, 10 root, 10 ancient bark and two deer hide. And to make the root leggings, you're going to need a level two workbench, 10 root, 10 ancient bark and two deer hide. The level one stats for the root mask are weight three durability is 800 it requires a workstation level two it gives you eight armor it also makes you resistant to poison which could actually be super useful especially for the bone last boss fight it also makes you weak to fire and this armor set does actually have a set effect just like the troll armor set that increases your bow skill by 15. this is actually really cool and i'm looking forward to testing this in the future to see how it actually affects the bows the stats for the root harness are 10 weight it also has 800 durability requires the level 2 repair station it gives you 8 armor it makes you resistant to pierce and weak to fire it only reduces your movement speed by minus 2 which means this whole armor set will only reduce your movement speed by 4% which is actually less than some weapons in the game so that is actually amazing and the stats for the leggings are weight 10 durability 800 it requires a repair station level 2 8 armor it makes you weak to fire and reduces your movement speed by minus 2 now for the upgraded requirements and stats for a level 2 mask you're gonna need a level 3 workbench 2 roots and 5 ancient bark and it's the same requirement to level up the harness and the leggings and for the level 2 stats Durability is increased to 900 and each piece gives you 10 armor. To level up to level 3, you're going to need a level 4 workbench and each piece is going to cost you 4 root and 10 ancient bark. And for level 3 stats, the durability is increased to 1000 and the armor value is increased to 12. And to upgrade the armor set to level 4, you're going to need a level 5 workbench and 6 root and 15 ancient bark for each piece. And for the stats, the durability is increased to 1100 and the armor is increased to 14. This is the new mob called the Abomination. I thought I'd show you walking around the meadow so you can get a nice clear look at it. This is a super cool looking enemy and they're actually found in the swamps disguised as tree stumps. I really love the way this enemy looks and it's one of the coolest looking enemies in the game in my opinion. This is what the Abomination stump looks like when you find it in the swamps but it can be really hard to spot. So this is what it looks like in the meadows so you can get a clearer look at it. One of my favorite things about the abomination is actually the animation of them standing up basically these things kind of stay quiet and they stay hidden as a tree stump until you get within their vicinity and you aggro them much like golems and just like how golems kind of animate standing up and they kind of get built up by the pile of rocks abominations come out the ground and kind of transform into this giant creature and this animation just looks amazing i have seen these things described as mini bosses which i do think is a little bit of an exaggeration they are just a more powerful mob just like a golem or something if you already have max level gear and you've got all the best stuff in the game they're actually quite easy to deal with this is me fighting it with max level gear and a leveled up character you can actually parry their attacks and once parried using a buckler they stay stunned and weak to attacks for a very long time so i would actually say that the best way to fight these is with the buckler and a sword because the secondary attack is super powerful when they're in this vulnerable state so this is what it looks like fighting it with max level gear and just to show you guys what i mean about parrying and using a sword i'm going to show you guys what it's like to fight this creature with gear appropriate to this part of the game okay so this is a fresh character that i just created so his skills are mostly on zero or at least very very low i'm going to fight this abomination with black soup muck shake and sausages level one iron armor and a level one iron buckler and iron sword and as you can see with the parry and then secondary attacks we make easy work of these abominations each abomination drops five roots and this is of course how you can craft the new armor 
abominations do seem a little rare to be honest but i have had multiple in one swamp which i guess makes them not so rare but in the grand scheme of things this does make the new armor set quite cheap and frankly with the fast movement speed and buffs included in this set it's actually more of a replacement for troll armor for players that enjoy the fast movement speed and the set buff and the buffs that this armor set gives you although it does make you weak to fire are still way better than the sneak buff that you get from using troll armor so i think troll armor players will actually love this set the added bow skill should have way more impact than sneak the poison resistance although i haven't tested it yet should be far more useful as well ps not so much but it could be a little help maybe and like i said it does make you weak to fire but fire is rarely a problem in valheim and this set does ultimately have a higher armor value than troll armor as well all right before i wrap up this video i just want to say i absolutely love this armor set i think it looks amazing i think it's the best looking set in the game it may not give you the highest armor value but the buffs are really cool and i think they should be pretty useful and the fast movement speed is really awesome and i do think because abominations are quite easy that it is actually quite a cheap set to make which is really nice let me know down in the comments below what you think of the new armor set but for me it's time to wrap up the video all right guys that's just about going to do it for this one if you did enjoy this video don't forget to leave a like and a nice positive comment and subscribe for future content if you would like to support the content financially then you can do so by joining my patreon at patreon.com slash nick or by doing donations so i'll leave a link in the description down below for those you do get access to a private valheim server if you on the patreon which is super super fun i do stream speed runs and full playthroughs of this game all the time on this very youtube channel and live on twitch so i'll leave a link in the description to my twitch channel if you're interested in that you can join my discord and follow me on social media at the links below i hope you enjoyed this video and until next time have a good one